two new positive truck drivers have put South Australia's contact tracers into overdrive. We are under extreme time pressure here to protect the South Australian community. One of the drivers who'd been in New South Wales tested positive on Monday after he'd stopped at Wingfield, Edwardstown and Talem Bend. The other tested positive yesterday and was being interviewed late this afternoon. Together with the three other positive truck drivers authorities already knew about, there are now at least 20 exposure sites across the state. You might be about to ask me, what are we going to do about these truck drivers? And it's just so important that we understand we have to bring freight into South Australia and we have to take our goods out of South Australia. Trucking is like the cardiovascular system in our body. It moves all the stuff around that needs to be moved. If you have blockages, you die. There are no recorded transmissions from truckies, but there are concerns. COVID has been detected in the wastewater in Salisbury, which is near the extinguished Modbury cluster, and concerningly in the southern suburbs. We don't happen to um, have any cases that we know about or old cases in that particular area, um, so it would be very important if anybody in that area has symptoms to go and get tested. More than 7,000 South Australians were tested yesterday, but Professor Spurrier says she'd like to see that number even higher. And she says this is the time for anyone who's hesitated to get vaccinated. Although for now, authorities won't proceed with a requirement for truckies to have the jab. This is something that, uh, my understanding, will go to National Cabinet and it would be good if we had it as part of that national freight um, policy and framework uh, because it, this is an industry that goes right across Australia. They already have to undergo regular tests.